Hey yo, welcome to my channel. It's Rollo Walker. I got these coins from a bank customer who has been selling me coins for about two months now. And uh, you can see this is uh, Stone Mountain. And this is uh, Lewis and Clark Bicentennial Commemorative. This is a 1911S Barber Dime. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. At any rate, I'm going to go through these. This is your warning. And uh, uh, they were in a bag. They were thrown together. They were just, they're here. That's about all I could say. Anyway, 1998 Kennedy Proof. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coin. But anyway, it's just beautiful coin. That's the size of that. And then that, it's 1976 uh, Bicentennial. That's a ni ni uh, 1976 Bicentennial up here, but look at this dude. This sucker is gorgeous. Uh, this 62 nickel is a proof. Uh, 1914 Barber. Uh, this is a B nickel. They call them a B because it's got the B on the back. The B stood for five cents, and it says cents, so therefore it's cents. At any rate, I'll put these aside and bring up some more. Oh, I want to show you this. This is this is mine. This is not wasn't in this bunch this is the original coin that uh, was authorized was not authorized until that time uh, 1797 or somewhere in that range but anyway this is a, a this is a penny this is a penny <laughs> Look at the difference in the size of these two coins. Okay, this is a, a 1787. So anyway, the the uh, law was passed before that time, and uh, but anyway, the the difference. This is a 2023. But uh, Ben Franklin came up with this idea, and. Uh, I haven't gotten everything clear about this, but anyway, mind your business. And he was a businessman. He was big on business and whatever. But anyway, I just want to show that because it's interesting. The size of that coin, nobody wanted to carry very many of them with them. So it didn't last. And uh, like most great ideas uh, things don't last long sometimes but at any rate uh, that's the gorgeous coin it's it's not uh, not it's not an original to start with to pay a fortune for an, an original in that shape you won't get it period there's none that are uh, uncirculated to that degree and uh, uh, anyway, at, any rate, at any rate, at any rate, look at the size of that booger. If you had oh, 15 of them in your pocket, you probably would need a strong belt to keep your pants up. But that's another story. Leave that out. Oh, I need to put that in a bag. Uh, I think I already did something with a bag. Okay, I'll look for a bag. Uh, nah. This is a... Woo-wee. 1942 Mercury Dime. Just to give an example of what went on back when. And, uh... uh at any rate, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. I'm discombobulated here here's the 1945 s micro s uh, 
people are wacko about them for some dumb reason. But that's another story too. At any rate, uh, a lot of these are, well, that's a 69. Wow. Wow. Another 69. Encapsulated in, in uh, plastics. 69, 68. There are lots of these in this pile. And it was pretty much a pile. Now, this is a 70. The 70s were not <clears throat> originally put into circulation. They were uh, to be sold to collectors. And uh, that fact didn't happen very well. There's another 70. Another 70. 69. Okay. 68. Anyway, these are 40% are silver. They're not what those people who melt now. They, they give a melt price and they purchase at that price. Here's another 98 uh, proof. 70 and um, um, the thing about it is with the 90 percent silver half dollar you're separating if, if somebody's doing it they're separating the alloys from the silver but with the 40 percent they're separating the silver from the alloy and mostly what they're getting is alloy and uh, it, it's, it's not as profitable for them, so they just basically don't like doing it. The uh, differences in that and whatever. Here's another V nickel, another V nickel. Ooh, upside down. Okay. At any rate, this is going to take a while. And... Uh, this is an Indian Head Penny, 1907. There's a bunch of them right here. That's, that's the uh, obverse. And so, and so, and so. That can be a little beat up, it looks like. Okay, 1900. At any rate, I've got a lot of this to do. I appreciate you <coughs> bearing with me. <coughs> Uh, 63 uh, proof Jefferson nickel. Oh, a line of mercury dimes. I'm not even going to look at what they are. This is a almost worn to nothing. That's a 1919. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to have to do a lot of Oh, these are, are mercury dimes. Early dates you got written on it. That's a 1929. You can probably read it better. Right there. Anyway, that's... Oh! There's more than just dimes in here. There's nickels. I don't know what those are. Okay, K, 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 K. Buffalo. See the horn? Right there. All right, all right, all right. A lot of stuff to go through here. And uh, the 69, this, this is, that's a nice coin. Wow. Couple of nickels. Uh, 62, 63. Oh, what is this? A bag of, bag of Indian head pennies. A whole bag of them. I might make a video with these. That's, that's too much. Too much, too much, too much. I'm enjoying doing this. 
hope you are, 1972-76D penny. Uh, B nickel, 1910. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I'm gonna... There's a st stacks of these uh, 40 percenters and uh, oh those are 76ers it's a 76 uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. but at any rate it's not something uh, I'm going to be able to I need to put this someplace. Okay, okay, okay. Rack there for the time being. And uh, so. So, 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 so. Buffalo nickel. I think it's a. No, can't read it. Need a nickadate for that. But at any rate. Canadian, I haven't got a clue. It's a Canadian coin of some, whatever, denomination. 1983 S proof, two bucks. <laughs> okay, wow. At any rate, drag this over here. Woo. These are nickels. <clears throat> I'm going to turn them over and see if we can get... Uh, well, probably should have them out. That's an 87, 80... Anyway, anyway, anyway. Not going to get them out. That's too much work. 45S Micro, 1916. Kids next door out hollering. They're good kids. They just don't have much. I think that's a 1916. Uh -huh, uh -huh, 44. Another five of them. And a 42. Nickels, Buffalo Nickels. Oh, uh, that's a 37 right there. I'd have to look to see what these are. And, uh, can't. Oh, this one's coming out. He wanted to come out and play. 35. So anyway, there's about 25 of them there. Oh, these are just um, 41 Washington 50D Washington Buffalo Nickel. Uncirculated. Look at that dude. 1937. Um, a American Indian <clears throat> posed for this to be done. <clears throat> and uh, I'm not certain. This is an old oh, Stand in Liberty. 1930. My, my, my. Another Stand of Liberty. 1928. I guess I didn't show you the other one either. Did I? A uncirculated. You can see it from the back. 1941S. Mercury Dime. Another 28. This is a 1914 
Barber Quarter. It states so right there. Quarter dollar. Another stand in Liberty. Got the flying eagle on the back. This is a 28 also. I had them as a child. I mean, brand new. Uh, looking. Shouldn't say brand new. 92 for some reason. Nice looking coin. Um, Jefferson Nickel. Uh, 61. Okay, here is some, now these are inside a packet, a 93P, I don't know what the other two are, and, and, 81D, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, 1942, that's a pretty nice looking coin. Proof 79S. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Sackage Wea. Oh, 2022. Uh, got a bunch more. That's a 70. This is a 70. This is a 68. Oh, much more. 70 and 70. Oh, look at that dude. Wow. Seventy-six lustrous. I that's a special coin. Now, these coins, the really, really, really valuable ones, don't have this. They instead have this. They were um, somewhere or another mix up, or they did it, or somebody wanted some, or they were going to give them out as commemoratives, or something, whatever. Anyway, it had the obverse. As you see here, and then the reverse, that's a 76 again. Okay. Uh, anyway, with the American Eagle. And, uh, but they are valuable. Not, not like this is. This, this has got some value, but it's aesthetic value. It's not anything of, of great worth. Okay, okay. B nickel and a penny 53d don't know why it's just here and uh, she says she has rooms with shelves stacked with coins and uh, does not want anybody to know where she lives this is an 83, that's a nice looking coin. Liberty on the, the headpiece, the V, nice. Another uh, 1914 down 1907 V nickel, okay. 61. Oh, this is going to get old quick. 63. This is a War Penny. 1943 Steel. Nice looking coin. Okay, here's a bag. Okay, it's got different dimes in it. 
I'm going to have to take these out sometime. Just do a video about it. I think this is a war nickel. It is. It's a P. See the P up here on the top? Uh, the war nickels with the mint mark over next to the building are valuable. They're rare. Extremely. Extremely. Now this is a bunch of pennies just flopped out here. I'm going to push some of these over here and look at them. They're wheat pennies. I'm not going to try to see everything. 45. 46. These are evidently 40s. There's bunches of them. Here is a... Uh, this is a proof Chester A. Arthur. And uh, they didn't do a lot of proofs. They did some. I think this is another. This is a proof 2007 Sacagawea. And there's the eagle. That's a nice coin. Really nice. I need to put them someplace different than what that will be is by itself this is heavy whoa there's a reason it's heavy da, 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 da. a 2000 that's mine anyway 2007 uh, walking liberty dollar that's gonna go in the pile oh there's lots of pile here this is 68 this is a 62 I'm just gonna put these up there's yeah yep 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 a lot of them need to put those pennies in a, a bag or something I suppose but at any rate, there's a 70. Now, as I said, they, they were not meant to be in circulation. They were meant to be sold uh, individually to collectors. And the idea didn't go over too great. Whoops, somebody's tearing up sets. That's not. That's a 39. 58, 43, and a 39. Uh, more. More, more, more. 70. 69. 76. 69, 69. Okay, here's a 22D Sacagawea. You have to look on the edge. The date isn't here like it is on, on the earlier Sacagawea coins. You have to look on the rim, outside rim, to see what the date is. There's a 2007. Whew, nice looking coin. He said he spent his life with coins, more or less. 1916S. And uh, that's what he enjoyed doing. I enjoy it, but I'm not obsessed with it. It's, it's something to, to do. And I had coins and decided to do a YouTube channel uh, with the coins and not be coin roll hunting. Though I, I can and sometimes will. The, uh, what we find anymore is, is not like it was uh, even a few years back. This is a 39, 43, 58, 43. You just don't find 
good coins like you used to. Uh, 20 years ago, 10 years ago even, 2007, 2007, that's all the same, when you, just nice, and uh, it's, you can go through a box of, uh, say, half dollar, and find maybe two uh, that are, that's a 44. That bugger is 80 years old, and it's uncirculated. Nineteen forty-four. Hope you can see that, okay? Uh, this is not a nineteen forty-four, and it's got some wear on it. It is a. Ah, uh, I got a magnifying glass right here somewhere. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, this is a, get the light off of it. That's a 44, another 80 year old coin. 40, chink, another 44. Wonder what his age was. At any rate, sixty-one. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Okay, we're getting down. Two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. 2007. Nice looking coins, but a lot of them. Ugh. And I'm not into sales. Uh, I, I like to trade, and uh, I've gotten some good coins. Uh, I try to not leave anybody unhappy about what they've done. 68. Now that's a 2007, but it's worn. The rim is worn. Okay. 68. 69. Okay, 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 okay. I uh, don't know what this is. This, this is a bag of something. Pennies, wheat pennies, 1924, so 51, oh, it's just different, various dates, okay, that's a pretty nice looking coin. Should be, it's a 58. Last year they made the wheat penny. I guess I could put those. I'll do that later. Uh, here is a 2007 proof coin. And it's not proof, that's a P. What a nice looking coin. Anyway, these were not intended for circulation and they sent them out once they were done to the 2004 wow they sent them out to the federal reserve and they sat there they were not purchased 69 and uh Finally, they put them in circulation. Um, I need to do something with that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here is a 68. Uh, this is 
Oh, this is mine. That is a two pound coin. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Oh, she was a uh, card. She was something. Oh, I'm gonna do this again. This this is this is this is an odd coin. Because with say the half dollar, you take it and flip it over and it's right. But if you flip this coin over, it's upside down because the tops are each going the same direction. This is a heavy coin. I don't know what that dude weighs, but it's a uh, 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 one of the only English coins I have. Uh, and it's pretty. It is so gorgeous. I'm going to put it back over there for a second. I'm going to do that with a... Uh, make a short with it. Drop it here in this bag. Put it up here. Buffalo nickel. Uh, 35. That's a pretty nice coin. 1944 American. Yeah, I don't know. 94, not 44. 55S. Rare. What? 54D. Not so rare. Oh. Ooh, look at this. Some of this is not. Okay. 99P, 99D, 1996, just an uncirculated coin, 1995 uncirculated, 1955S, rare, oh yeah. Nineteen oh seven Indian and a ninety seven. Hmm, quite a deal. Okay, now I need to look at. No, got some left over here. Not much. Uh, Sixty eight and some buffalo nickels. That's a thirty. And I can't see that one. So I won't see that one. Okay. Guys, I appreciate you staying with me this long. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Do your thing. Whatever. Best you can. Whatever you like. And uh, uh, appreciate you staying with me.